My name is Carlos Valle, uh, Business Development Manager uh, based in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, so what we are looking for um, as a company is trying to innovate with our, our, our customer base and that's industrial. So that's a, a challenge now where in the IT space, uh, finding people that want to innovate or companies that want to innovate seem to be a lot easier. In the OT space where we live on the industrial floor where machines are moving, uh, conveyor belts are humming, uh, that's a bit more difficult. And that's mostly because our customer base wants to segregate the data. They want to contain the data and not let it out because of security breaches or, or you know, other fears. Um, but we know that we can help them by taking that data from those machines and pushing it out to an analytics platform. So, that's really what we're, we're looking, looking for. Someone uh, on the industrial floor, manufacturing floor, OT space that wants to innovate and sees the value in the data and pushing the data out. So that's kind of my focus. Um, we know that there's you know, IBM Watson, uh, other platforms that create a lot of value. And, and if we can enable uh, the programmable logic controllers, the PLCs, the robot arms, and we can push that data and contextualize it, most importantly, create a context behind that data, we can, we can show them uh, equipment efficiencies, deficiencies, and be able to predict failures before they happen. And that's just a small part set. So imagine uh, an assembly line. Uh, we're building a car. Uh, that assembly line as a whole is a, com is a system that runs and it can, it can uh, you know, fail. And, and if we can predict that failure, uh, we can schedule outage. We can uh, create a work order for a maintenance person. We can order the part. If that all happens in the cloud and we can enable that, that's the future that we're looking for. I mean, that's what we want to innovate towards. The speed at which technology is changing now and where uh, IBM and other companies are really pushing the platform is challenging for us because we need to catch up, uh, make sure that we have the personnel that can talk to the, the, the plant floor and, and, the, and you know, the, the data that's down there, but also take that data and push it on up. And that's really uh, the buzzword that everyone's using now is IT, OT convergence. And that's what we're seeing. So for us as a company and companies like ours, we have to uh, push and innovate and, and, and build a team that can take that data from the OT space and push it up and converge it with the IT space. So that's a challenge uh, that, that we're, that we're uh, facing and that I think other companies are facing. Um, so yeah, that's the, the, the biggest push to, to be ready for this change because it's going to, hap it's going to happen and it's not going to happen tomorrow, maybe not within the next year, but in the next five years you will see a lot more uh, plant floor data up in, in a cloud platform um, and, and, and analytics being performed and getting pushed back as a closed loop system onto the plant floor. The focus has changed from trying to help companies uh, make a product, right, to, to design the line, design the systems, let's make that more efficient. That's really changed to let's get data out and then analyze that data and, and those data sets and w what use uh, the focus is from floor to what use is that data, uh, what can we do with that data? Um, but first we need to collect the data, bring it up and the focus has changed from physical to more of this uh, uh, big data sets, um, virtual, digital, I guess if you will, the digital transformation, which is the whole industry 4.0. We've gone from uh, a physical world to a digital world. The future is going to a digital environment, big data sets, and where we see opportunity is no one now on the, on, that I know of is taking those, all the plant floor assets and that data and actually taking it out to analyze it and to, to bring it back for repurposing it. And what I mean by that is um, not just your typical, let's make this line more efficient, but really what other business opportunities could that end user have with those data sets? Is there a customer relationship uh, opportunity there for them? Is there uh, a new business model that, that en enables them to sell consumables? Like if you have a, a car and you know that the, the air filter is going bad, then go ahead and ship them a new air filter or schedule, uh, schedule them uh, maintenance on their, in, the, in the end user, or the company, sorry, is um, uh, repair, you know, repair facility. So those, those kind of things are where we're trying to find, let's, let's reinvent the, the, the customer's business so they have new business models and new revenue streams. I think one thing that we haven't really addressed, we, we, we get the concepts right right now here, everyone's really kind of um, not drinking the Kool-Aid, but really, yeah, this, this is going to be a great solution. This is the future. It is the future. But what's going to happen on the ground floor? We haven't really talked about the connectivity in that edge gateway, which we've heard, okay, well, there's a lot of components to the edge, right? There's um, 
you know, on-premise computing, uh, data acquisition, big data sets, they're on, on the edge and, and buffering of data. And also the security piece. So we know it, ex we know it needs to exist um, and there's some solutions, but from what I've seen, it, they've been kind of clunky. So I think one thing we have to address in order for us to enable uh, this, at least in, in, in my point of view, the, in, the industrial, the, the manufacturing side of IoT, it needs to be a better discussion on how we protect that data, how we aggregate it, and then how we securely send it out.